This match presents the Western heavyweight champion, Nicky Bockwinkel, meeting the great John L. And another 20-minute bout at 229 pounds, the popular boy from San Fernando, Nicky Bockwinkel. And Kentucky again at 220, the great John L. John L. not very popular with the fans here at the auditorium tonight. They give a resounding boo to him because his opponent is the Western heavyweight champion, Nicky Bockwinkel, a very popular young lad that's certainly made friends everywhere he's appeared. He just returned uh, recently from a tour of the United States where he has successfully defending his title in all of the Western states and met some of the best men in the East without defeat. Nicky Bockwinkel, another young boy that comes from a wrestling family. His father Warren, a top-notch heavyweight for many years. <laughs> Arm dragged by Bockwinkel, both boys back to their feet very fast. Headlock by the great John L. And switching into the head scissors is Bockwinkel. <laughs> Uneasy rests the head that wears the crown. And Nicky Bockwinkel wears that Western Heavyweight Championship now. And boy, he's got all of them on his neck. They're all challenging him. <laughs> Roll back into the ropes and under the ropes, the fate of uh, John L. Takes time out to say a few unkind words to one of the ringside fans. Puts into hammerlock. Bachwinkle drops down for a leg drop. Moves into an inside step over toe hold. And it's John L. trying to get the head of Bachwinkle locked in a head scissor. But Bachwinkle with his arm is blocking the hole. Great John L. has worked and worked with those hands of his until they're hard as steel. He takes those hands of his and breaks bricks and stones in two with them like they were tissue paper. Once again, it's the arm drag by Bockwinkel. <coughs> Michael working on the arm of the great John L. On face lock and a rollover on top of him with a cross body press was Bachwinkle, but John L switching over on top. And there John L is using those hands of his. We told you they're plenty hard, and boy, he's making use of them to the midsection of Bachwinkle. A knee left by Bockwinkel. Bombs away at sometimes called. And the old head cracker with both knees by Bockwinkel. Oh, and one of the fans says it won't be long now because when Bockwinkel throws that bombs away in the head cracker in succession that way, he usually has his opponent dizzy. And I mean dizzy. John L. stages a comeback, though, makes the leg dive, gives himself time to kind of get, get himself back in order again. comes off 
off the ropes. It's the kick over by Bachwinkle. Almost a pin there. Almost a pin. But John L. coming out fast and it's Bachwinkle. Rolling, twisting, fighting all the way. Five minutes, the timekeeper says. Oh, I think great John L. Uh, come out a little worse on that one. He's trying to get a little time there. He says, my back. These tights of the great John L. are really something to behold. They really date back to the days of the old original great John L. He has quite a variety of them. Sometimes they're striped. Sometimes they're plain colored like tonight. But they're all made the same. Referee Cecil Payne says, break it up. Great John L. from Kentucky. As he comes from an old line of original Kentucky curls. And it's that long fist. Here's a Bachwinkle switching him around into the corner. Comes back, says to the referee. And the referee says, let him have it, far as I'm concerned. And boy, does Bachwinkle let him have it. Grabs a handful of the whiskers. Tosses him clear across the ring. Bombs away once again. And into the ropes goes the great John L. Fole Nelson by Bachwinkle. Bachwinkle loves this Fole Nelson. He used it quite a bit as he says he's figured out a way to get a little extra added power into it. And he had the power then as John L. threw him over. He, Bachwinkle held on to it. And the complete roll ended up on top still holding the Fole Nelson. John L. looks around. I don't think he knew just exactly where he was. Set the whole ring once again. And into the corner he goes again. It's Bachwinkle on the move. Into the ropes. And as he comes off the ropes, catches him, flips him over. Almost caught with a drop kick, but just barely missed. Bachwinkle just barely missed the drop kick. Almost knocked himself out. Looks around. Sees the great John L. Comes in with a couple of right hands to the side of the head. Pulls him out. Flips him over. And he goes into the abdominal stretch. This is one of the favorite holes of the Western Heavyweight Champion, Bachwinkle, and it's good enough for the foul once again. That's, uh, here's our ring announcer, Wayne Meadow, to give us the time of the fall. And the foul in about the time of eight minutes with the abdominal stretch, Bachwinkle, the winner. Hey, have it, ladies and gentlemen, it's Nicky Watt. Bachwinkle, pardon me, the Western heavyweight champion taking the measure of the great John L. in a very fine match. 